So you have an exam coming up, a test at the end of the week, or homework due tomorrow, and you just can't seem to want to do anything. You're not motivated to do any type of math. No matter how much you think, no matter how much you try, you can just not get started. Is there something wrong with you or is this kind of normal? Well, in this video, what I want to do is investigate why we are sometimes unmotivated to get with math and what we can do about it. Now, I struggled with mathematics growing up, so I have a good understanding of not being motivated to get my work done. I've also been a high school teacher for 14 years, so I know a lot of the reasons that students tell me why they simply just don't want to do their math. So being a struggling math student myself, as well as as a high school teacher for 14 years, I feel like I've seen it all as reasons why we just don't seem motivated to do our math. But in addition to just knowing why we're unmotivated, we also got to talk about what can we do about it. So the first reason I found a lot of students kind of lack the motivation to do their math work is because it gets hard. It gets frustrating. Once you start doing something that you start making mistakes on or that you don't initially understand, you kind of stop wanting doing it. And this isn't just true in math. This can be true in anything. See, I hate basketball. I really do hate basketball. And it's not anything against the sport. I actually think it's a rather great sport and I actually don't mind watching it. The problem with basketball is I'm not very good at it. So I never enjoyed playing it. I never enjoyed practicing it. It was just something I never enjoyed because I was never good at it. Now, could I have gotten better at it? Of course, I just didn't put in the time. And I think with mathematics, a lot of that happens with students is when they start to get frustrated with the mathematics, they don't want to do it. Of course, you're going to be unmotivated to do something you don't feel you're good at or unmotivated for something that's frustrating and stressful. I get it. So if you ever feel unmotivated because you kind of agree with exactly what I'm saying there, start with something small. Start with the big wins. I can tell you there is nothing wrong with even taking a problem that you actually know and working it out step by step. Because what you want to do is you want to build off your wins. You want those wins to keep on snowballing. Yes, you're not always going to understand everything in your class exactly when you need to. But if you can start with what you know and try to build upon that slowly, it's going to make more learning much more enjoyable. Once you've created a bad connotation of your environment with frustration and stressful and learning, every single time you step into that environment, you're going to get back with those same feelings. So if you used to always study in your bedroom or the kitchen table, well, now I want you to make a shift. I want you to get in an environment that is uncluttered, get somewhere that is bright, that is clean and remove the distractions. I want to remove all those bad connotations that you had when you were studying in that other environment and replace them with a brand new environment that is going to help fuel your new motivation to get some work done. And again, enjoy those small successes. Now, the next reason I hear from time to time from students is math is boring. They are unmotivated because it's simply just not fun. Even if they understand the work and they can do it, they just don't want to do it. So what can we do there? Well, it reminds me when I was first learning to play the piano as well as the trombone. I just wanted to play music. That was it. I didn't want to practice songs that I didn't like. I didn't want to play my scales. All I simply want to do was play good music. Any musician or athlete knows you got to put in that disciplined work to see the fruit of that labor. Mathematics is no different. I know a lot of times the math that you're doing is just not enjoyable and I get it. And there's not really much I can say above that, but there are some things that I think you can do to make it more enjoyable. Number one, and I think foremost, is understand why you're doing this. Why are you even learning this subject? What is important that you feel that you care to be motivated about doing your math? What are the reasons for that? Because if you can really attach your meaning for being motivated to achieve that, doing the math is just going to be a stepping stone to achieve what you really want. Another thing, nobody likes to be bored by themselves. If you're studying something boring, at least try to do it with somebody else. Get a study partner, get a study group. I cannot tell you how much fun I have had studying for tests and quizzes with other students that were in the exact same class as myself. Also, try to make things a game. If you know something's boring, but you know you just have to get it done, well then maybe set up a calendar. Every single day that I'm going to study, mark it off as you're done. You're more likely to do something when you hold yourself accountable for checking it off on a list. Or maybe there's a reward at the end. Go ahead and buy yourself something. Have fun with it. Make this a game that you can enjoy because we know math is not always going to be the most amount of fun. So make the fun about something else. You know, what are your motivations? What is that GPA? What is the college you want to go to? Why are you trying to achieve what you're trying to achieve? Focus on that and the math and the studying is just your drive to get to that. And last excuse I hear from my students all the time and I can resonate with as well is feeling overwhelmed. A lot of times when you're taking courses, multiple courses, maybe AP courses or college courses, you have a lot on your plate. And when you have to study for that exam, even if if you're good at math or if you're not good at math, it feels overwhelming. There's so much content and information that you need to plan for and it doesn't feel like you have enough time. So therefore, what do we do? Well, we just delay, right? We avoid what we want to do by doing something else, doing something that's more enjoyable and we keep on pushing off procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate until we eventually have to go ahead and cram for a test at the very end and just try to hope that we do our best. Now, hopefully we all know that is a horrible recipe for success. So when you feel overwhelmed and that is just your lack of motivation that you just don't feel there's a way to get started, I want you to stop. 
take a step back and breathe. Now, go ahead and list out everything that you need to accomplish and break it down into small chunks. Hopefully this is not the night before something is due, but you have time to break it up and every single day try to do just a little bit. Don't feel like you have to do a chapter's worth every single night. It's better to do 15 to 30 minutes of work rather than four hours cramming the night before. The best thing you can do is break things up in chunks and the smaller and more manageable those chunks are, the more likely you'll be able to do them. Hold yourself accountable. Write them down in your notes. Write them down in your calendar. Write them down in your planner. Create the check mark so you can check it off. Give yourself a reward if you do it each and every time. Write down your motivating factors in, in your calendar of why it's important for you to study on that day for that time. But hold yourself accountable and it's so important when you have time to plan, start early and start often. Because it's very hard to be motivated to do work when you're completely overwhelmed with how much you have to do. Ask yourself why you want to be motivated. Why do you want to do this work? Why is it important to you? Identify the habits that motivate you to get your work done. Put those habits to action. And if those habits end up not working, then stop, find some other habits, and try it again. There is no secret sauce to being motivated. Every person in every situation in every class is always going to be different. But if you can always hold true to why you want to get the work done, why you're putting in all of this effort into your course, you got to keep challenging yourself. Keep treating yourself. Have fun with it. If it's not fun and you don't have a reason why you're doing it, you're never going to want to follow through. I know you can do it. Rome was not built in a day and math was not invented in an hour. I have no idea what I just said or if that makes absolutely any sense. But if you made it this far, please comment down below in the video because I love interacting with all of you. And check out my next video I have for you here. Cheers.